So for the last few days, even weeks, the Gulf has been more like the Lake of Mexico, but now the surf is up. At three to four feet, they aren't the biggest waves. I love the waves. I love ripping around in the waves. For surfers who have suffered through flat, calm conditions for weeks now, any wave action is caused to break out the boards and head to the water. Finally, surf is up. Finally, the wind is up. Uh, that's what I'm looking for. For Scott Rideout, it's not only the waves, but the wind. I need at least 10 to 15 mile per hour wind, so this is perfect for me today. What's good for the surfers isn't necessarily good for beachgoers like Cindy Black. I'm not going out there. Red flags are up along Alabama beaches, warning of higher surf and the increased danger of rip currents. The purple flags? For the jellyfish, like stinging nettles, common in these waters, especially this time of year. Beauty from here, danger if I'm out there. Lifeguards are keeping a close watch on the ever-changing conditions, but the good news in all of this, the system that's stirring up the Gulf is not headed this way. So it's just a perfect day for this today. It's, it's hot, it's warm, but it's nice out there. <laughs> the red flags will be up another couple days. The purple flags probably a little longer. Those pesky jellyfish seeming to hang around. On the Baldwin County Beat in Orange Beach, Debbie Williams, WKRG News 5.